It is a daunting task for families to arrive in the unit and watch their loved one stuck to all these different kind of machines, all these lines sticking in. Hello and welcome to Career Central, the podcast where we demystify interesting careers. I'm your host Sachin Ramurthy and this week we'll be talking about the intensive care unit. Most people know the intensive care unit as the ICU. This is a special department of a hospital that provides intensive treatment medicine to patients that are critically ill. Typically, the ICU houses the most severe patients in the hospital affected with diseases that require sophisticated treatment. Thus, the patients are constantly monitored and only highly trained doctors and nurses comprise the staff of the ICU. The choice to become an intensivist, a doctor who practices in the ICU, should not be taken lightly. Because not only does it require dedication and a long period of study, but once qualified, the job is highly demanding and very, very stressful. Hours may be long, and the responsibility of having critically ill patients' lives in one's hands can be emotionally draining. On the positive side, it should also be noted that it can be an extremely fulfilling career for a doctor. The way to become an intensivist may differ slightly from country to country. In general, the process involves qualifying as a medical doctor, completing a residency program in a hospital, specializing in a certain area of medicine, and then completing a two to three year fellowship in critical care medicine. The time it takes to become an intensivist is usually at least 10 years, if study is pursued without any breaks. Today, we'll be talking with Dr. Tejo Kapali, an intensive care specialist at Hurstville Private Hospital and a staff specialist at St. George Hospital, both in Sydney, Australia. In addition, Dr. Kapali is an organ donation specialist with the New South Wales Organ and Tissue Donation Service. Dr. Kapali is a doctor of medicine and has a bachelor's degree in medicine. She has also completed the postdoctoral certificate course in critical care medicine. In addition, she was a fellow of College of Intensive Care Medicine and has a diploma in Diagnostic Ultrasound and Critical Care Medicine. As you can probably tell, Dr. Kapali is an extremely qualified doctor. So without further ado, let's know more about the ICU. Dr. Kapali, what exactly does being an intensivist entail? Okay, so, so to be an intensivist, you specialize in a subject which deals with caring for critically ill.